All right, so just to give you a little preview of what we hope you will learn in this course, this is a website Bob built over the summer at the boot camp training. So the, it, the idea was that uh, this is my list and uh, other people can uh, register um, and uh, add any old username. Um, And uh, then create a password, and I'll just put password so I don't forget. Um, yeah, okay, now they're registered. Now they can uh, make a list, and uh, they can just add their own, you know, uh, great views to their list. And uh, um, I like the South Fresno trash pile. You like the South Fresno pet? I'm joking. Okay. Fortunately, there's a way to delete this stuff if I want to. But <laughs> that's Fresno trash. Have you seen that mountain? It's the mountain of trash out by 99. Okay. So now there, there's a little uh, trash. There's a little list here, and uh, this list is for Jim Bob and and. Some of the stuff, like edit here, only shows up if he's logged in. So um, I can go back and re-edit it if I want. Um, I can load an image here by choosing a file. Uh, do you have any pictures in here? Sure. Where? Where do I go for a picture? Well, it's 2015, 8, at the top there. Okay. What's that? I don't know. And no. No? Okay. Desktop? Uh, okay. There you go, screenshot. All right, so here's a screenshot. Nice we'll just open that up and load it up. And you can put a caption in here. And submit. Okay, so now um, I can, uh, well, let's log out. All right, if I go to the list of users, there's Jim Bob. He just got to add to these other ones that I loaded up here on the, and there is the page that has been created for Jim Bob. Um, that's the, the picture that would ordinarily be a picture of a mountain or something, a view, and then the list over here on the left, and uh, and a caption here. So um, anybody can look at this page. Um, uh, you know, here's uh, Bill Gates 05 I created. Um, but in order to uh, actually change something, this one doesn't have a picture, um, in order to actually change something you have to log in to change your page. So the Go code that was written basically handles uh, um, going to the different pages, uh, whether or not you're logged in or, you know, or not, how to register, how to, if you're already registered you can log in um, by uh, you know, retyping in things. And is your login system using MySQL? Uh, no, it uses uh, the App Engine. What, what do we call that? Uh, uh, Gorilla Sessions. What? Did you guys? No, you didn't use that I one. Didn't use, you use that App one. Engine. All right. I used App Engine, and what's the name of the uh, Data Store? Data uses Store. Data Store on that's App the Engine. One that but the uh, images, in order to upload an image, I can put an image into my App Engine because I control the code to the program. But if someone else wants to upload an image by using the uh, registration uh, code, and, or by using that, that um, ability you know, from outside the website, then the image gets uploaded to the cloud. Cloud storage, what's it called for Google that we, we were using? For images? Yeah, for Google, any kind of upload. Google cloud storage, yeah. Google cloud storage. Anyway, there's some code that links the program to the Google Cloud Storage, and that's where the, uh, the images go that people are uploading. So any user cannot upload any files to the App Engine, only the uh, person that owns the uh, owns that particular set of code. Can cool. Go use SQL? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the Go code uh, does all sorts of things with the, uh, um, you know, whether you're uh, register or not, it changes the uh, the 
the menu links um, based on whether you're logged in or not. And uh, where's, I think I, we're connected on GitHub, right? Yeah, so what it is is Robert S. Turner 52. Following. And then uh, slash user dash viewpoints. Are you following me? No. Huh? No. No? Well, yeah, I am following you, but I mean, you can do it straight to my repository. I should be following you. Maybe not. Yes, it's Turner. No, there are no spaces. Yes, um. it's Turner 52. Yeah, there you go. So you can fly, find all this code. That's it there at the top. Right there. So this is all the code that went into that program. Only 20 days ago. Can you make GitHub projects private? Like, yeah. Okay. You have to pay. You have to seven, pay for privacy. But if you're, I heard that if you're a student, you can get a couple of free ones. Like you get like three free private ones. Uh, I don't want like everyone looking at my code if I make something awesome. Well, that's how GitHub makes its money. It provides this incredibly free service, but it's all public. Uh, and uh, if you want privacy, yeah. you pay, and that that's okay. where it makes its money. Still worth it. Yeah. 